In this video, we'll go over how to integrate Flipgrid into your Canvas course and set up your Flipgrid assignment. So first, you're going to want to start from the Flipgrid side and go into integrations on the top right hand corner and then add new integration and just title it something that is recognizable to you so you can link this integration to that specific course that you're integrating uh, Flipgrid with. All right, and so now we have generated our consumer key and our shared secrets. So go back into your Canvas course, and then you're going to go into the app section. So we're gonna go down to settings, and then apps, and then we're going to search for Flipgrid. And we're going to add the app. And now it's going to ask us for a consumer key and our shared secret. So we can just go ahead and copy those and paste. Great, and now we have Flipgrid in our course. Um, so when you first install it, you might get Flipgrid on the left-hand sidebar. Uh, and the only thing you wanna do with that is just very quickly click into it and create a group for your course. And that's great, that's all you need to do. And so now you can go back into your settings and just move it down so where are we with our Flipgrid account? All right, so just move it down. Um, you don't want students accessing it there. You just want them to access it through the assignments. So now we're gonna go into assignments and we're going to set up our first Flipgrid assignment. So go into the plus assignment button and you can title it uh, Flipgrid discussion or whatever you would like to title your assignment. And then just scroll down, add some points and uh, the submission type is where you're going to select from the drop down menu and say external tool. And then we're going to find the external tool and it's going to be Flipgrid, so it'll be down by the Fs. And if Flipgrid gives you any issues um, in the course, some people have found load this tool in the new tab to be a good workaround, but um, for this exercise, we're just gonna leave it as is and then we can save. And so now the Flipgrid assignment has been created. And so here you can click on the edit button and um, call it whatever you would like. Uh, you can add your instructions here. You can add recording times, lim uh, time limits, so it can go up to 10 minutes. And you can also uh, determine what the closed captions will, what language the closed captions will generate from. And also you can customize the date and uh, just go through the rest and see what looks right to you. Uh, so after that, you can update the topic. And now your Flipgrid assignment is ready to be published and for students to interact with it. 